So there are five blocks in Chunky Mansion. So this is like one of those blocks. So you can see the blocks have guest houses, restaurants. This block has a couple of good ones on the third floor. This is called the ground floor and the first floor. So this is a two floor plaza. My name is Jeff. I am a registered social worker in Hong Kong. So our mission is to serve the most marginalized community, which is the asylum seeking refugees. Anyone know where I'm from originally? You say India. India. That's right, India. But if you ask me, okay? We really believe in connecting with the local public. In the Chungking tour, we're showing unity and diversity. We're showing cultures, races. This is our masala tea auntie here. We'll show you what we mean by original bubble tea. So when I say bubble tea, is this bubble tea or what? There's ginger in it. Yes, I'm going to show you the secret ingredients, which includes pepper, which includes cinnamon. We really believe in empowering all the individuals to become integrated into Hong Kong society whilst they wait for their very long process. Giving dignity to them and also giving them a voice. How cool is that, huh? It's like a magic show. <laughs> It's a Hong Kong has 14,900, I'm sorry, we'll update that later on. Only 291 cases have been granted refugee status. We want to give the opportunities back to our clients. We want them to tell their stories because actually we view them as heroes, right? They're amazing people. They have a lot of stories to tell. We're glad to be able to collaborate and give them this platform so that they can tell their story. Why we left our country? Because we were persecuted. I've been in Hong Kong for eight years. We face a lot of discrimination here. It's never a choice to be a refugee. It's never, you know. From Lowu, there was immigration there. And we told them that um, we are running away from Pakistan because of our safety. The immigration officer asked me one question. He's like, you speak so good English. Why, why are you a refugee? Uh, we're hoping this is bringing a lot of change. We just saw with all your students joining us today, what an incredible few hours of mindset shift and, and just a connection. And I want to give my blessings to all the hardships that you have gone through. The stories are not just stories, you know, they are real. And the numbers, it's not just numbers. You know, they are lives, like real life, real stories. My mother's side of the family, they are refugees. They left Vietnam after the war and they were separated. And so um, some of my family, my uncles and aunts, they actually were in a refugee camp in Hong Kong. Story sharing is what keeps us alive, what keeps us going. Even though sometimes I think as an artist, as a writer, I think, what am I actually doing to, to help? And you never know who your stories are going to touch and what ways that they can save lives. I want to thank you all for sharing your stories and all the students for listening to stories too.